All right, hi everyone, my name is Ian Wilson, uh, Hackle Hoarder on Instagram. I'm here to tie up a Hackle Stacker Mayfly pattern. Start the thread right behind the eye of the hook, go about halfway down the bend, break it off the tag, we'll go back up towards the eye, we'll start off our taper, and then we'll go back down. First thing we'll tie in here are going to be the tails. Which on this fly are going to be some moose mane. All right, so I'm going to get about three or four fibers here. Kind of rough, rough stack them to length. Trim the butts so they're a little shorter. Put them in our hair stacker. Tips lined up. Okay. We want the tail to be about the length of the shank of the hook. Measure that out. About right there. Looks about right. We'll tie those tails in. Get them on the top of the hook. way back up towards towards the eye. So up here we'll trim off our waist. Alright for this I'm going to be using a wire rib. So this is small UTC ultra wire in amber. Get that rib tied in. Let me back up just a little bit. We are going to wrap this back up, so I do want my body to be nice and flat. So I'll uncord my thread by spinning it counterclockwise, and then tie down the shank of the hook, making nice touching wraps, covering up all that wire. Don't worry about it if there's a little bit showing through, because we are going to come back up. All right, all the way down, and then back up. Making sure thread stays uncorded. Give it another spin if you need to. All right, back up, back down. Okay, so now we're gonna do our rib. Capture that. Couple wraps. Helicopter it off. over. Okay and for this fly I'm going to be covering the body in loon flow kind of like you would a thread Frenchie. Gives the body a really cool look in my opinion. Okay so put some loon flow on our bodkin here. Spread that around. coating you can if you have too much you can just kind of let it sit for a second and soak into the thread all right once you're happy with that go ahead and blast it with the UV okay next step be to tie in the mono um, just any mono filaments fine um, you don't want to use too big. 4x, 5x works just fine. For these, I like to be, I like to have the mono loop be about two, three inches tall, so you're not dealing with too much. Okay, so we'll tie that mono filament in right on top. Tie it in kind of closer to the eye because you're going to have. A little bit of pressure pulling up on this monofilament. Want to make sure it doesn't pull free. Tie that back to kind of the thorax area. All right. 
Now the next step is going to be to tie in our hackle. For this fly, I'm going to use a nice speckled badger hackle. And since we're tying this hackle stacker style, where we're going to be wrapping the hackle up and down the monofilament, it's not as important to have a uh, one side or the other be facing down. Okay, I can go either way. Trim off that hackle stem. Okay, next, you wrap the hackle around the mono. Alright, and then you can measure that out. Make sure you don't make it too long. Should back off a couple wraps on here and then back down. Okay, once I get back down to the base of the monofilament, I'm going to let go of my monofilament loop and capture. And if it's being difficult, it's probably because you don't have your thread back by the back by where you uh, ended your wrap so just move your thread back there and then kind of come over the hackle it's easier said than done a lot of times there we go I got one wrap in okay now we'll trim our hackle out along with any trapped fibers cut out some of those trapped fibers Okay, don't worry if you have a few in there. It's not a big deal with this fly. Okay, next we're going to add some CDC. And for this I've got a feather all loaded up in a, in a material clip. So I'll uncord my thread, split my thread. Just barely got it split. All right, so once I got my thread split, I'll add some wax just to help the fibers not pull loose. And transfer CDC to... Okay, once I've got my CDC transferred, I'll spin that up. Okay. I'll kind of hold the dubbing loop out of the way if I've got any more trapped fibers that I see trim those out of the way okay and then just wrap the CDC forward and kind of preen it back a couple times Okay, now for the hackle stacker part. So we'll kind of hold that mono loop up with our right finger and with our left finger, we'll kind of, left fingers, we'll kind of preen those fibers back. Do it a few times. You can kind of hold and pinch them. We want those fibers all kind of facing back towards the bend of the hook. Once you're happy with where most of those fibers are, go ahead and pull that forward. And what I like to do is reach behind, hold the loop with my left thumb, come over with my right, and kind of slide up the mono. You can get a nice clean tie in. And then again, wraps come in cut the mono off really tight give it about a four turn whip finish three four turn whip finish try not to trap any hackle fibers trim thread
and it's a hackle stacker mayfly.